Hi, good morning, welcome to our meditation. Today is the 17th, uh, sorry, 16th of June. And I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and the one who is wise saves lives. So the grace of God changed us and filled our, our lives with his God's wisdom so we can use our words and be like a tree of life. We find the tree of life in Genesis and in Revelation, and the tree of life in Genesis and in Revelation is the eternal life of God. It is our Lord Jesus Christ. And then all the disciples of Christ will become a tree of life. The fruit that comes out of our life, lives is actually the tree of life, says this text. Peter, when he was preaching in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, says this, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil, because God was with him. God with us, Emmanuel, came down here to heal, to set people free. And then, as he was going back to heaven, he said, All power has been given to me. As you go into all the world, make disciples of every nation. And in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, just a few moments before he went up into heaven, he said that he, had, he was going to give us the Holy Spirit and we would go to Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the ends of the world, preaching the good news. And I'd like to think about all the missionaries that have been traveling all over the world, preaching the good news of Jesus Christ, even today. My wife and I, we came to France as missionaries, and we work here with the French Baptist Church. I joined uh, a mission called WEC, and so did my wife. I left Brazil because we were missionaries in Africa before we came to France, and I left Brazil in 20, on the 28th of June, 91, nearly 30 years ago. And all this, the friends, the colleagues that were all over the world now preaching the good news, and you who preach the good news in your street, at, at in your work, with your friends, with your family, you are a tree of life. The grace of God has transformed you into a tree of life. Remember this, whoever turns a sinner from the error of the way will save them from death and cover over a multitude of sins, says James chapter 5 verse 20. Remember this, he said, don't forget that whoever turns a sinner from error of the, the, the era of, the, of their way will save them. So God has sent us as trees of life to change the world, to save the world. We don't save anyone, it's Jesus in us. Though I am free, says Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 19 to 23, though I am free and belong to no one, I have made myself a slave to everyone to win as ma many as possible. To the Jews, I become like a Jew, to win the Jews. To those under the law, I became like one under the law. So as to win those under the law. To those not having the law, I, become, I became like one not having the law, though I am not free from, I am not free from God's law, but um, I am under Christ's law. So as to win those not having the law. To the weak, I became weak. To win the weak, I have become all things to all people, so that by, by all possible means I might save some. I do all this for the sake of the gospel, that I may share in its blessings. So Paul was prepared to become any, anyone, anything, even a slave, to share the good news. So be a tree of life where you live, where God has planted you. God bless you.